Hey guys, I'm Zeta Sage Plays and welcome to the beautiful Highland Wildlife Park. So we drove way up into the highlands of Scotland to see the park and it was well worth it. So here we are, let's take a look. The park itself is split into two main areas, a driving safari and a walking safari. So we're going to start off with the driving safari, which is just surrounded by this amazing scenery. And the first thing that they hit you with here is this guy, their male polar bear. The zoo had two polar bears, a male and a female, and in December they had a cub. So the zoo now has a baby polar bear, which we will be taking a look at later. Oh my God, he is so cute, it is ridiculous. So let's leave the polar bear behind for the moment and take a look at the rest of the driving safari. So we have European bison. We have some of these really, really beautiful Bacara deer. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen these before and I really like them. They have red deer as well. They have Vicuna, which you can see this little guy here, just chilling out by the side of the road. We also have Pajalski's horse, excuse my pronunciation, the world's last truly wild horse. We have these Markor, which I was a big fan of. And then throughout the entire park, given its location, it's just full of birds and waterfowl, including these Greylag geese with a couple of little goslings wandering about. I spent way longer watching these than I should have done, <laughs> especially considering I'd seen them in Edinburgh the day before, but they were very cute. The drive through also has camel, yak, European elk, and tachyon as well. Let's move on to the walking safari. So the first animal we're gonna look at in the walking safari is the red panda, one of everyone's favorite animals. And like a lot of the habitats in the Highland Wildlife Park, situated in the middle of this little wood. I think they've tried to keep as much of the natural surroundings intact as possible and just put paths and little habitats in. So the habitat for the red pandas is really nice. It's split over three areas with loads of different viewing points, but red pandas are nocturnal. So as is so often the case when you go and see them in a zoo, they were asleep today, but there's one up in his tree having a little kip. There's some Eurasian cranes uh, next to the red pandas, making a lot of noise. And then one of my favorite animals, the Arctic fox. This little guy was very active running around his enclosure. And then later on we caught him having a little sleep up on his enrichment uh, climbing structure here. Next up, we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite habitats in the zoo, the Amur tiger. This is hands down the best tiger habitat I've ever seen in a zoo. It's absolutely amazing. It's huge. And there are a lot of tigers in here, including some juveniles who are very cute. Loads of different viewing spaces through glass and through mesh, all raised viewing. So you get a really good view of these very rare tigers. So these particular tigers are called Amur tigers. They are the largest of all the big cats. They used to be known as Siberian tigers, but they were renamed in the 1990s as they sadly had long disappeared from Siberia. And you can only find them now in isolated populations around the Amur River Valley in the far southeast of Russia and on the northeast border of China. So in the zoo, they have uh, five of these cats. They have a female called Dominica, who was born in 2009 a male named Botsman who arrived in October 2020 and then in May last year they had three cubs Nishka, Leila and Alexander and just the views of these tigers playing around is amazing. So let's continue on our way around the Highland Wildlife Park. Next up there were some Japanese macaques uh, who seemed to be doing absolutely nothing <laughs> when we were there. Uh, they barely moved uh, but they've got a nice big habitat. And then next up the snow leopard. This is another breeding success story at the park. This, I think, is the male chilling out on his climbing enrichment here. This is another huge habitat. You only see a little part in this video. Um, in a den to the left of where we are here is the female and their new cub who was only born a couple of weeks ago. Um, obviously, he's not out and about yet, so we didn't see him, but we got to see the male. Uh, we also got to see this Eurasian eagle owl having a good old clean 
I love owls, they are so weird looking, but they are very cool. And then one of the things we're most excited about, the Scottish wildcats. These live in another forest, in these houses joined together by runs, so that the cats can get all around the area, between loads of different habitats. They are absolutely stunning. And all around them in the trees live red squirrels. Hence the fences to keep the cats in to stop them eating the squirrels. Sadly we didn't see any of the red squirrels. They are very shy as you can imagine. But just seeing the cats was pretty amazing. They are just too cute. And the final habitat that we went to look at before the baby polar bear, which we will look at in a minute, was the wolfwood which is another large forested habitat for these European grey wolves. All right, I've kept you waiting long enough. Let's take a look at the baby polar bear. This is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in a zoo anywhere. I have never seen a baby polar bear before. It's pretty rare to see polar bears at all these days. I think there's, these are the only ones in Scotland and then Yorkshire Wildlife Park has the only ones in England. But their habitat is absolutely enormous. The bits that you see here are just a tiny part of it. Stretches almost all the way around the park. There's so many different viewing spaces for them. It's just an absolutely incredible habitat and an amazing experience to see them. There are four polar bears in the park, three adults, and then this little cub called Brody, who was born in December 2021. So he's six months old here. He's got pretty big already. But yeah, we had a lot of fun watching him. And that is everything that we saw at the Highland Wildlife Park. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.